Welcome to Five Fires YouTube. Today we're going to be firing up over here at Universal Studios Hollywood for some updates. Not only follow me on Instagram, you can follow me on Instagram at the Calibet. Please subscribe, hit the like button, fire it up. I'm the main host, Mondo. Let's do this. So glad to be back at Universal Studios Hollywood. The weather is literally perfection today. It's kind of warm, but it's nice. We're here with my boy, Junior. We need a tent to go up, dog. And it hasn't I don't happened. Know. I don't know when. <laughs> okay, so today, next week. I know. Week, April. Uh, but there's a lot of uh, action going on. We got Fast and Furious, yeah. uh, Studio Tour. You know, whatever's happening with Horror Nights, we'll see. Yeah, we'll see. <laughs> but there's a lot of stuff happening. Yeah. And uh, Tri Wizard, their stage is like back. So back hopefully we could catch them today. Yeah, let's do it. Let's all, right, all right. But first, we're going to do Fast and Furious. Wow. So scaffolding is down. <laughs> What? That's crazy. What does it look like down here? So I keep an eye out for foundation like on the ground so they can start putting up coaster but uh, I do not see stuff like that yet wow dude how is scaffolding down that's crazy this is freaking awesome so it seems like a lot of work is now happening there. And I've heard a lot of big time work's happening on the other side of the escalator too. So we'll check that out in a little bit. We're about to go on the studio tour, but just want to showcase what a Friday wait times look like. Seems like the lower lot is where it's most impacted, but everything else is not bad. Mario Kart at hundred minutes. Oh my Lanta. Please no smoking of any kind during the tour. Be prepared. Our tour today features loud noises, sudden tram movements, fire effect. Let's get them back to the tour. Yeah, yeah, that's how it's gonna be. As long as I get to drive. Oh, not if I've got the keys. Oh, oh man. And over the years, we've produced and televised many classic shows. Let's take a look at just a few. Uh, so pretty cool to think about. Uh, by the way. Uh, we can also just change small details. So I was pointing this out, right? We have this giant brick wall. So if I was to take one of those bricks and just make it a purple brick, I'd be in a whole different look. Pretty cool. That that was impressive. I can top it. The Hunchback of Notre Dame, y'all get the All right, all pretty cool to see some of our production that we have going on right out here uh, on property and here on property. This time I want to share with you one of our newer sets. This time from Academy Award winning writer director Jordan Peele. These are the actual sets for the movie Nope. So without further ado, uh, howdy y'all. Yeah, welcome to Jupiter's Clay. Movie magic only happens when a team of collaborators, often in the hundreds, work together to... So a quick recap from the studio tour. We're seeing where the worlds just be finished, I guess. They're rebuilding the destroyed buildings. Whatever. Terror Tram's going to look good. Whatever we do that, if that's coming this year. Uh, also, too, that Bates Motel. Looks like all that flooring and concrete that was happening there uh, is looking to be done. And the big speculation out of that... You know, since we got the 60th coming, is that we're going to be able to get off the studio tour, take pictures, roam around, and then get back on the studio tour. I'm guessing at War of the Worlds, kind of how, like, uh, Terror Tram works in a way. It's going to be all different. <laughs> Getting off on the regular studio tour is not something normal. It's only like a Terror Tram kind of thing, but hey. For the 60th, I'm excited for that. That's a, that's a cool addition. For Forbidden Journey, they're gonna be putting the lockers outside the ride now. So it's looking like. 
I'm guessing that'll be something done for summertime. So no more lockers in the inside, all outside down. They have a lot of showings today for Triwizard Tournament, thankfully. And here's the new flooring that has been added. I'm just glad to have this show back. Over here at Honey Dukes in Zonko, we're gonna have a brand new soft serve ice cream that's gonna be arriving. There's gonna be lots of flavors from vanilla, orange, mint, chocolate, apple, pistachio, toffee apple. It's either in a cone or in a waffle. So that's gonna be interesting because that's it's never before done. Uh, and there's gonna be lots of new treats that are arriving. The one that the media of Universal put out is there's gonna be a new butterbeer flavor popsicle and they're calling it an ice lolly. <laughs> Can't wait to try that. Uh, all of this will be starting March 29th, so just around the corner. We'll definitely be back to try out some of those new uh, ice cream. Do you guys know what this is right here? And I'm talking about the gray right there. And that's at the top level of the structure that got the scaffolding taken down. I had a chance to ask a couple people, is this track, Fast and Furious track? And people are saying yes. <laughs> what do you guys think? Look at a different angle right here. Wow, can you believe we're gonna have a roller coaster doing roller coaster things right here. <laughs> oh my Lanta, they're starting to get ready. Look at this, what? See, that's what I was looking for on the other side over there, but we haven't seen none like that yet. Uh, but they're getting ready. Coaster track incoming. <laughs> what do you think about all this, Junior? <laughs> Dude, maybe we start, maybe we see track by like July, dude. Yeah. Yeah, holy smokes. Yeah, that's for sure foundation for track. It might be a possibility that that is coaster track, at least supports for it that could be happening. Uh, when do we start seeing like the foundations for the coaster track, like actual coaster track happening out here? Uh, hopefully we keep praying, no, no more rain for a little while. So this project could keep moving fast and furious. But like how we see the holes over there, uh, we don't see nothing like that on this side at all. So I guess they still got a lot of flattening and just moving of the dirt that they got to do. But this is crazy. The, the crazy part about all this too is that scaffolding went down up there. So <laughs> I guess they're ready to move on to the next big project uh, or next big piece of this project. So we're not sure if a house is coming here, but last week we saw all the spray paint and which could be possible layout for a Halloween Horror Night house coming here. But the real question is, is that the entrance or the entrance on that side? We're gonna ask my HHN expert here. <laughs> what do you think, Junior? Which side's the entrance? Are, are you gonna go with the, the back side or the front side? Well, I noticed a little pink color right there. Yeah. It's like fur. Maybe that could be the exit. So you think, okay. That could be the exit. Because last year, uh, that was the entrance. Yeah, that was the entrance. Last so you year. think this year it becomes the exit? Yeah, exit, yeah. It's funny how they flip-flop that. Yeah, sometimes, <laughs> a couple of years, they switch it up. Like, yeah. Because, like, Killer Clown's, uh, Killer Clown's entrance was over there. Yeah, yeah. The Killer Clown's entrance was over there. Trick-or-treat entrance. Trick-or-treat over there, too? Yeah. Damn. Uh, they, they switch it up. What, what's been your favorite mummy maze? <laughs> it has to <laughs> Putting be. Putting you on the spot right here. 
It has to be the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Wow, what year though? What that year? That was uh, 2007, 2008. Damn. Damn. All right. Damn. Yeah. Uh, for me, honestly, Last of Us was pretty up there. I really every time I did that maze, it's pretty good. That was awesome maze. Yeah, it was a good maze. The limit express thing. Yeah, dude, Last of Us was baller last year. One project that has taken a long time is this Panda Express. I was hoping it was gonna leave and we could get something new. I guess Super Nintendo World would have been a great option, but uh, it's just coming back. Panda Express just under refurb, <laughs> but I don't know when it's gonna open. I'm guessing they're aiming for summer. We're in the transformer store down here at the lower lot. I've never seen Universal Monsters in Transformers. This is Frankenstein Transformer. Frank Frankentron. <laughs> what the heck? Dude, we need Universal Monster Takeover of this ride. <laughs> That'd be sick. That'd be sick. <laughs> Making our way now to Super Nintendo World. They just had Toad out there for meet and greets. We're actually going to go to that top area because uh, something closed. And we're going to take a look what's happening. Finally made it all the way up these stairs. So this has now closed. And that's where like the ice kind of was, the ice room. Really didn't have much going on in there, but the speculation I'm hearing is that it could possibly be the music note game where it plays like Mario tone tunes by punching the blocks. That's what I've heard. So we might get one more game added to this land, which hell yeah, why not? That is going to be all for today's adventure over here at Universal Studios Hollywood. We will be back next week. Keep track of the track that's coming. Uh, just seeing something resemblance to track for Fast and Furious is very exciting because uh, we're probably, what, maybe a couple months, three months or so before like real progress starts happening where track and foundation starts happening throughout the whole, the whole layout. All right, everybody, smash that like button. We're firing it down.